so we are going to worship the lord in the morning with a full of heart we understand that jesus is mine and we are belongs to him his blood is enough for our sins and his blood is enough for our grace so we want to praise so we want to commit ourselves in his hand in the morning time we need to praise because he is our story he is our song and he is our savior and all the days of our life it may be problematic anything atrocities are around us but our god's grace is enough for us to survive in this ruined world so we had to praise and worship the lord with the full of heart you every one of you please cooperate with us and sing with us and praise our lord amen hallelujah jesus We are going to sing the song or blessed assurance Jesus is mine. So please uh, sing with us and praise of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed assurance Jesus is mine Oh what a fool Praise the Lord Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Hair of salvation, purchase of God, born of His feet. Washing his blood This is my story This is my soul Praising my Savior All the day long This is my story This is my soul story this is my story this is my song praising my savior all the day long this is my story this is my song praising my savior submission perfect delight visions of rapture 
shall the blast on my son angels desiring bring from my bone a cause of mercy this place of love what's more perfect submission perfect submission what you see Perfect delight, visions of rapture, the burst on my side, angels descending, bring through the bow, echoes of mercy, whispers of standing before us so we are living in this world without any problem so we have to praise and worship the lord because with a grateful heart and song of praise a structure that you are arms and bless the our lord of his name and worship the lord hallelujah and clap your hands and praise the lord and sing with us hallelujah praise the lord let's just sing the praise and worship the lord hallelujah Clap your hands as I 
with a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with a rush of joy, I want to praise, thank you, Lord. Yes. I just want to thank you, Lord. For you are done in my mind. You took the darkness and I gave me your light. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. You took my sins and treasure. You took my sickness and healed my pain. Thank you, Lord. For you today, that just one night that I can't see. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. I just wanna thank you, Lord. Oh, for you were given to me. Hallelujah. For all the blessings that I can see. Thank you, Lord. I just wanna thank you, Lord. Oh, with a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with a house of heart, I'll bless your name. Oh, thank you, Lord. Every one of you. I just wanna thank you, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Praise of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just wanna. For all your done in my life, you took my darkest and gave me light. Thank you, Lord. I just wanna thank you, Lord. You took my sins, oh. You took my sins and my shame. Yes, Amen. You took my sickness and healed all my pain. Thank you, Lord. I just wanna thank you, Lord. Oh, with a thankful heart, with a song of praise, with an awesome song, I bless you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. I just wanna thank you, Lord. Oh, oh, thank you, Lord. I just wanna.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Greetings to you all, the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our beloved pastor, Binuwara Muttam, and family, and all our choir members, media teams, our leaders, and uh, all the believers, and all the only viewers may god bless you all welcome to this service amen i think uh, this is our last day of our uh, fasting prayer i mean god has enabled us and strengthened us for the last six days and the seven days he will powerfully bless you hallelujah sometimes the blessings you cannot see. Sometimes you may think that I fasted for seven days and uh, what is the use of having this uh, seven days fasting? Amen. But the blessing is on the way. Hallelujah. The blessing is coming. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is going to come to your eyes after some time. Amen. So never be tired. Never be weak. The God is good at all the time. Hallelujah. I mean, give a shake hand and say, God is good all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us read a God's word today. Mark chapter 4, verse 41. Mark chapter 4, verse 41. They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Amen. God loves us. And he gave his only son for us because he loved us. And son gave his life for us. And he showed how much the father loved us. Amen. He gave his only begotten son for us that we may be blessed in all the realms of our life, in all the areas of our life, and all the seasons of our life. Amen. As a companion, as Jesus went, he sent the Holy Ghost for us, that he may always lead us and guide us in all the circumstances of our life. Amen. So that we shall not fear tomorrows. Let me say clear. Amen. Whatever the situations, whatever the circumstances that happens to our life. Amen. God has got a guarantee is that the Holy Ghost is with us. To lead us and guide us in every steps of your life. In every, I mean, in aloofness of your life. I mean, in all the crises of our life, the God's Ever presence with the Holy Ghost is with us. We were, we were reading the God's word. Here a story starts, you know, that Jesus and his disciples started having a boat journey. I mean, let's read one more word. Matthew chapter 8, verse 23. Matthew chapter 8, verse 23. Then he got into the boat. And his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came upon the lake. Enough. Yes, thank you. Jesus called his disciples into the boat and told that, let us start a journey. Amen. It was a journey to go to the other shore of the sea. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus has called you to start have a journey with Jesus. When you started a journey with Jesus, Amen. He has called you. That's why you started a journey with Jesus. Let me say, 
abe this jesus is always with you in the journey he will never leave you he will never forsake you in the journey in all the circumstances of your journey the jesus ever presents is there he has called you in the journey and you left many thing in the shore and you believed jesus and you started a journey with jesus because of that you had to leave many things in the world you had to leave your friends you had to leave your old belief you had to leave a uh, your uh, many uh, many things many comfort zones of your life and you started a journey with jesus many has accused you many did not come with you many did not give a company to you and you left alone many times in the boat and you were having a journey alone it is not your circumstances alone it happens all over the world those who starts the journey i mean god separates them from the shore and he keeps you alone the boat with jesus abraham started the journey and he was alone in his journey he had to leave his parents he had to leave his friends and relatives and he had to start along the journey i mean something new which god wants to start in your life god separates people from your life that you will completely enjoy in the presence of god that you will completely enjoy the coming blessings from the lord i mean if somebody is with you he may say because i guided you i mean he may say i helped you i mean sometimes they may say that i financed you i mean that's why you are blessed so that's why god separated abraham from everyone and he separated his journey a journey started with jesus alone hallelujah so if you have i mean any separation pain in your heart i mean lord i mean take it positively from the god's word i mean to holy and totally enjoy the blessings of the lord i mean nobody should take the credit of your blessing god separates you from the world and you should start the journey i mean in his boat along with his companionship hallelujah i mean last time one of my friend had called me and told i mean i don't want to pray I don't want to believe now because when I started this journey of faith many had left me my relatives do not do not talk to me if they have a marriage they don't call me they keep you alone let me say i am a lord there is a day is going to come after some time i mean they will ask your presence i mean in the important place i am a lord there will be a time i am a lord without you i mean they cannot have a program i mean there is a time i mean with the boat with the jesus i mean that you may understand his whole presence and you will start in the journey we know that immediately a storm came a comfortable journey for a some time and afterwards started a journey i mean god was waiting to reach in the middle of the lake or the sea i mean until that time everything was fine you started a journey for a while and when you reach a place immediately the problem starts erupt in our life which you never thought or which you never understand i mean we know that all these were the fishers fisher catchers and they know everything about the sea now the storm was so big so furious storm i mean the waves broke into the sea and it was waving uncontrolled that they may suspected to be i mean sink down into the sea they know how to handle the seas and the storms but this was a very dangerous situation and they were not able to i mean understand or 
handle the boat at any cost everything was out of the hand everything was out of the range and they understood that their life is in danger hallelujah let me say something i mean precarious may happens to your life something dangerous may happen to your life something that is uncontrollable may to happen to your life but you have to believe that you are not a lord the one who has called you is in the boat of your life he is in your family he is in your circumstances he is in your situations but the bible says he is sleeping hallelujah god perceives everything but he pretended a sleeping hallelujah when you are perplexed confused crying i mean everything god listens but still he doesn't respond hallelujah many times god send you through the storms or such situations to make you understand or enable you to handle the situations of your life hallelujah sometimes god allows you to a particular situation that you may be able to handle in the situations that david was i mean sent a particular situation where he was alone i mean he was running from one place to another place he was running from one mountain to another mountain one cave to another cave he was just running and running and running because god allowed the situation in his life because god was preparing him to be a strong king Hallelujah sometimes a situation that happens in your life which you cannot handle I mean thing is that God is training you for a special purpose I mean God wants that you will be able to handle the situations of your life I mean what we will do in such situations what the bible teaches you i mean how to handle a situation like that i will say i mean very simply in a very small small time in such a situation in such a crisis comes to our life i mean you must learn to trust him and you must learn to rest in him hallelujah praise the lord you must learn to trust the lord and rest in the lord if you trust him and you will rest in him i mean your cries cannot stop the storm your confusions i mean your i mean loudness cannot stop the storms the storms can be stopped by only one single person that is god i mean if you have a confidence that god has called you and I mean, you will take rest in him because you trust in him hallelujah sometimes god will take you for a boat journey in your life i mean to learn to trust in the lord i mean lord if you best trust i mean lord best you will rest hallelujah i mean lord but the situation was that the disciples were not able to understand what is happening in their life they thought that it is all over they thought that it is over let me say when we think in our human mind we think that because of this situation because of this particular condition my life will be over i am a lord my bank will liquidate everything and they will take away and because of this sickness i mean i will be lost let me say when god called i mean each and every disciples i mean they god had thought of a pentecostal day amen god knew that there is an act of apostles will be written amen the stories of these disciples were in the heart of god then how could they be destroyed in the storm hallelujah i mean your future is in the mind of god i mean your tomorrows is in the hand of god how you will be destroyed in the storm never no storm can destroy you because god is waiting to write the act of apostles god is waiting for the day of pentecost i mean many people are waiting i mean for you with the heart 
Amen. Because of that, you are in the process of learning. God will never, never, ever destroy you in the crisis and he will never leave you alone in the crisis. But you must learn to trust in the Lord and you must be able to rest in the Lord. Hallelujah. When a problem comes, you must be able to take rest in the Lord. Cries and confusions, Am I Lord running here and there? Am I accusing rejections? No problem. Hallelujah. You take a rest in the Lord. Am I go to your prayer room and start praying? Hallelujah. The Jesus was just sleeping there in the stern. The stern is the place where the boat is controlling, and Jesus was sleeping there. Let me say, if Jesus is sleeping in the stern, Amen. You don't worry. Amen. He will control everything. Amen. In a particular situation, when God takes you to the crisis, the words you speak, the attitude you have, the thoughts you are having is very important for God's amen, favor in your life. What you talk is very important for God. How you think is very important for God. God always watches you and He always tries to get a positive attitude in you in every situation of your life that you will be so calm in the problems of your life. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen Lord. Amen. Matthew chapter 8 verse 25 we will just read. Matthew chapter 8 verse 25. The disciples went and walked him saying, Lord save us. We are going to drown. He replied, you have little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked yes, the winds. Yes, yes. Jesus asked that these disciples went and as Lord, we are going to be perished. We are going to be destroyed. I mean, Lord, you, are you not concerned about us? I mean, Lord, are you not concerned about us? Many times, this is the question for us. I mean, after having a long journey, Lord, are you not concerned about us? I mean, we are having a problem for a long time. Are you not concerned about us, Lord? I mean, Lord, and Jesus stood up in the boat. Let me say to you, I mean, when your problem is beyond your control, God will stand up in your boat. Hallelujah. I mean, when the thing is out of control of your life, until uh, after uh, the period of training, God will stand up in the boat and, I mean, and He will rebuke the storm. Hallelujah. God will rise up for you. I mean, God will stand for you in your boat. Amen. To control the situations. Amen. To make the things in favor of you. Amen. Let me say, if God is there, He will make the situation in favor of you. Amen. And afterwards, you will travel through a conducive situation in your life. God is asking, why are you so afraid of? Hallelujah. God never wants us to be afraid. God never wants us to be afraid in the tempest. God never wants us to be afraid in the storm. He wants to have a positive, I mean, creative attitude in your mind of not being afraid in the situations and the storm. Hallelujah. When the disciples was crying, Jesus was asking an indirect question. Listen to me. Jesus was asking an indirect question. It was that, you believe me or you believe the storm? You believe me or you believe the situations? What do you believe? Whom do you believe? Am I Lord? Who is powerful? Me or the storm? Who is more powerful? Your crisis or me? Am I? Who is greater? Me or your crisis? Hallelujah. You must say, Lord, you are powerful than every problem. Lord, you are I mean, greater than every situation. Lord, you are powerful than every mountain, every sickness, every problem will bow down before you because I have a God who has created the seas. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus stood up. And Jesus said, be calm. Jesus said, be calm. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is there to control amen, the storms of life 
which is uncontrollable for all the humans which is uncontrollable for our scientific ideas which is i mean uh, which is unknown for all the technology i mean let me say if nobody is there no situation is there i mean no instruments are there to control your situation i mean if god is there everything will be on the track everything will be on the track i mean let me say to you i mean your life will be on the track in the days to come I mean Lord your storms will be stopped in the coming days to come hallelujah I mean Lord this authority will be exercised for you hallelujah I mean Lord I mean Lord let me say after coming the sea they had a question who is this who is this who could even calm the storms and the sea hallelujah you know why god allowed them to take through this situation this situation they god carried him because to understand god in deep i mean the a depth revelation of god must be i mean in your heart and mind I mean, you cannot travel with the story of your dad. You cannot travel with the story of a pastor. You cannot travel with the story of your fellow believers. God wants to, I mean, train you. I mean, for a strong belief that you may be understand. I mean, you may be traveling in all the situations of your life. Hallelujah. I mean, Lord, Jesus is in your boat. I mean, Lord, you will never sing. in any storms hallelujah i am a lord because there are many chapters to be written in your life there are many new stories are going to come to your life god has seen your tomorrow god has seen your future i mean it is a training and god is there in the boat with you i mean to carry to the next level of your life hallelujah let us commit our life to him amen Father we thank you that you are I mean Lord you are with us every storms of my life every confusions of my life in every problems of my life Lord you are with me I will never be afraid I mean Lord I have many chapters in my life I mean Lord and you will help us I mean to, to travel through in the future problems and you will help us to I mean walk successfully in our life let us commit our life to him i mean let us i mean lord worship the lord with a song and let us praise his name hard me now thank you jesus father lord we thank and praise you for this wonderful time that you have given for us oh lord 
Thank you for the beautiful worship you have given for us. Thank you for the word of God that you have given for us. Amen, Lord. Every situation will turn into our future. I mean, our favor by your presence of God. You will carry us in every situation of our life. I mean, we will never sung in the world. I mean, you will, we will never be broken in the world. You will hold us, O oh Lord. We commit each and every one of you in your hand. And we pray that your great blessing, great protections, and great favor of the Lord may be with these people always, O oh God. We pray that you will hold them in your mighty hand and bless them all the way of your journey. I mean, Lord, we commit them in your hand and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The love of the Father and the grave of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Shout a hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all.